Hello my angels. Well, it is another day and I'm continuing on the theme of love. The girls are coming around this evening. The table is looking even more breathtaking today because they've had time to acclimatize to the heat. And although some of them were looking rather sad this morning, they are in full bloom and they are magnificent. It looks absolutely stunning in daylight. I will do a little bit of emotion so that you can see the table and you can just see how beautiful the florals truly are. Well, I'm going to be a bit of a busy bee this afternoon. I have still got to do all of the sweet treats. So basically my idea is that I'm going to be making some scrumptious chocolate chip cookies in in the shape of hearts. I had a little bit of a shopping spree on Amazon and I bought some gorgeous little heart stencils. Also went a bit wild with the pink <laughs> sprinkles. So I've got sugar hearts, I've got micro marshmallows and then some pink and white sprinkles. And then I've got just the most obscene amount of pink and red fruits. It wouldn't be Valentine's Day without dark chocolate and milk chocolate covered strawberries. So we're going to be doing that together. I'm going to be making a charcuterie board of delicious fruits so that my guests can quite literally take a cherry, dip it in chocolate. It's going to be so unctuous and delicious. I've also got some raspberries and then one thing that I actually took out of the freezer, if you have subscribed to me for a while on YouTube, you will know that our orchard is filled with the most delicious fruits. We literally have an abundance of different types of fruits. And at those special times of year, we pick them and in fact, we actually freeze them for occasions like this. So I've defrosted an enormous bowl of plums. So look at that. I mean, the juice is just scrumptious. So I am going to be doing little tiny plum crumbles in these gorgeous ramekins. I do actually have pink ones, but I don't have six pink ones and I do like them to match. I mean, how cute would that have been? Um, so I'm going to do plum crumbles, we're going to do chocolate chip cookies. I might, if I need to do more, do some heart-shaped puff pastry with jam in the middle. So naughty, but so yummy. And then obviously we've got all of the fruit. So, we're going to be having a bit of a baking afternoon. I've got my pinny, which actually I am so impressed with the colour coordination and the match. Look at my dress right now. And then look <laughs> at my pinny. It is literally identical. So pinny is going on. The oven is preheating. So let's get ready. Let's get prepped. Let's get baking for the most divine Galentine's celebration. I cannot wait for the girls to arrive. I cannot wait to get it all out. I'm literally going to be creating the most memorable sweet treats tower you have ever seen in your life. Oh, and it is going to be stunning. So the oven is ready. Let's get baking. recipes down below just because I know now by this point this is going to be a long vlog but as I said at the beginning it is going to be a Valentine's extravaganza so I have got oh, the most delicious what I would do to just go right now this is the cookie dough we've got some delicious dark chocolate chips in there and it is as classic and as simple as possible so all I'm going to do is simply roll them into little balls like so 
and pop them on a non-stick baking tray. The oven is preheated to 190 and they're literally going to bake for about 8 to 10 minutes. Now I love my cookies almost like gooey, warm and soft. I don't like them to be too hard or crunchy. So it really depends upon how you like to eat your cookies. As I said, I like mine slightly underdone. So I do eight to 10 minutes and they will be absolutely delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and roll them into perfect little balls. ready and a little trick that I like to do is actually pop them in the freezer just to make them set and then we're going to pop them in the oven so let's get them in the freezer okay so the cookie dough <laughs> I got caught red-handed eating some of the dough is in the freezer and they're just going to set into their sort of ball forms and I just think it makes them that little bit more chewy and delicious once you bake them in the oven. So next step is to create the crumble topping and it is literally so simple and so basic and I like to do equal amounts of flour, sugar, and butter and obviously that depends upon how many people you are baking for so I've just got some delicious sweet and fine golden caster sugar essential waitrose plain flour again any plain flour will do the trick and what else are we do oh butter so again you can either use unsalted or salted I actually quite like using salted but um I don't have that in the house so unsalted will have to do and when it comes to baking a crumble, I think it's actually really important to pop the topping on at the very last moment. Otherwise it can go quite soggy and sort of sink into what will be our delicious plum mixture on the bottom. So it really is as simple as getting your butter. And I would personally suggest having cold butter and chop it into cubes. It's gonna be easier when you get all nice and dirty with your hands um, to combine it all together and start to actually create that real delicious traditional crumble form. So my scales are going on. My bowl is on the top of my scales. I've set it to zero and we're going to do 100 grams of butter. This is always the scary moment when you realize what is actually in the delicious things that you eat. <laughs> So I've been so good in January that tonight I'm having a guilt-free card and I think it is so important. So that's 102. That will do. Then I'm going to set it back to zero and we're going to pop in 100 grams of plain flour. Oh gosh, that's a little bit over. Oh well. And then 100 grams back to zero of sugar and now this is the fun part you either need to make sure that your hands are clean or pop some gloves on but then you need to get your hands in there and this is where having the chilled butter will really really help you out and you're just going to combine those three ingredients together and then what I like to do is actually add a tiny bit of cinnamon into this mixture and trust me it makes it it is so delicious so I'm going to spend a little bit of time making sure this is perfect I'm going to spoon in my plum mixture gosh I definitely think there's going to be a few jokes out there Leonora's rather plummy <laughs> I've officially lost it, but I'm so excited for tonight. 
I need to organize all the pink champagne, the Lillet, the pink gin and tonics. I've just brought out our fondue set. So of course we're gonna do the co chocolate covered strawberries, but I'm also going to have melted chocolate and then my guests can then dip the fruit directly into the chocolate fondue. So it's gonna be interactive, it's gonna be fun, and it's just going to be scrumptious. Till all of it is gone Lay down our demons and rest In this slow light holiness Something so honest Moving on to the plum mixture I seem to have rather a lot of plums So I'm going to actually have to do other things with my plums over the next week or so but first things first, oh my gosh, this is insane. Look at the juice that is in here. I might even have to, oh my goodness, it's quite tart, but it's absolutely scrumptious. I'm gonna make sure that there's lots of juice in there. Oh, wowza Rooney's. And it's so lovely to know that these literally came from our trees outside. So I'm gonna fill all of these up and you could go to the supermarket and buy the plums or equally, if you have an apple tree outside, pears, plums, quince, you know, we can, we can do just about anything with the majority of fruits out there. Um, and you can apply the same recipe, which is always lovely. And if you never quite know what to do, just send me a little message or comment down below and let me know what it is that you want to cook and I'll come up with some <laughs> weird and wonderful idea. So I'm going to just continue to film these ramekins up and then I'm actually going to place them to one side just to bring the plums to room temperature and then they're going to probably take around about 20 minutes to cook. So obviously just before we finish the main courses, I'm going to place the topping onto my plums and then bake them to perfection just until that crumble is a gorgeous golden brown on the top. These are absolutely sensational. when it comes to Valentine's has got to be chocolate covered strawberries. And it does not need to cost you a fortune. You don't need to go and buy the fancy ones in those shops that charge you an absolute fortune because it happens to be Valentine's Day. You can make it at home and actually you can make it with your loved ones, which is so divine. So what I like to do is actually um, melt the chocolate in a saucepan. You can also pop it in the microwave, but I just think it melts into a really silky consistency. If if you put boiling water into a pot and then actually have a glass bowl above so you're actually sort of simmering water and the steam is melting the chocolate so I'm going to do just that until we've got the most gorgeous silky smooth <sighs> chocolate of dreams and then I'm going to be dipping strawberries and I cannot guarantee that I might not have one before the girls come <laughs> but then again we need to have time for them to set in the fridge before they do come and then we can create the most divine treat tower so I'm gonna go and find my glass bowl and I'll be back in a jiffy okay so I've got the water in the pot I've got my glass bowl just balancing on the top and the star of the moment, which is, of course, the dark chocolate. Now, you can use milk chocolate for this. However, I am partial to dark chocolate. Absolutely love it. Also, not great on dairy. Not that you need to know that. So, I will be using Belgium dark chocolate for this recipe. And there isn't really a recipe, guys. That is the secret. Just eyeball it. When it comes to things like this, ugh, the more, the merrier, I say.
Now for the best part is when you get the strawberries, obviously make sure that you have cleaned them, and then dip them into the chocolate. And what I've done here is I've actually got myself a tray. Ooh and a bit of chocolate on my fingers. <laughs> and I've actually got one of those non-stick proof um, little mats, but you can also use parchment paper. So what I like to do is make sure that I've got a really good handle on the strawberry itself, <gasps> and then just dip away. Oh my giddy aunt! This is literally the best bit. Do a little bit of a twirl, bit of a dance with the strawberry and then just pop him down to relax and set. So like I always say, you need to just take your time, get as much chocolate as you possibly can onto those delicious large strawberries and they are going to be pure perfection. I'm going to pop you guys on a time lapse get this done and then show them to you all laid beautifully before I pop them in the fridge to set. Just taken the cookies out of the freezer and they are ready for the oven. And trust me when I say, the freezer does the trick. Trust me, they're gonna be gooey and they're going to be so delicious. they're going to be finished back on my tripod of dreams <laughs> and the final step of today's sweet treats well I say the final step I've also got the chocolate fondue that I've just very quickly popped together that I will of course share with you but literally two ingredients they're delicious they're so simple yet they're scrummy just for old puff pastry and the easiest way of doing it is just making sure it's the fresh one and then you don't have to wait for it to uh, defrost. So, we're going to roll it out. I'm going to take my new heart-shaped... Look at how cute these are, little stencils. And I'm going to make some hearts out of my pastry. But first and foremost, I'm going to go and clean this first. Uh, so I'll be back in a jiffy. 
So I'm gonna bring you guys down here just so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take my little heart-shaped stencil. I will, of course, leave it linked down below. And I'm going to just make the little hearts of dreams. And then just keep going until I've used all of the pastry. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna put a tiny bit of strawberry jam in the middle. <gasps> that is a little beeper to say that our cookies are, will be ready in a minute. Gosh, I'm so excited. So here we go. I've got six gorgeous girlies coming over this evening. So with so many different sweet treats, I think one sheet will be plenty. And I'm just gonna make sure that I'm using as much as that pastry as possible. And they're going to look so cute. So much deeper. I got joy in my soul. I got joy in my soul. The fact that you're happy, what's making me whole? a little joy in my soul and I got love in my heart I got love in my heart I promise that no man can tear us apart but a lot of love in my heart the lights are so So those are our heart-shaped puff pastries with strawberry jam in the middle ready for the oven. As you saw, I just did a quick egg wash so that when they rise, they're going to look glossy and gorgeous. So whilst everything is in the oven, the fridge, <laughs> cooling, whilst everything is doing their thing, I also just wanted to take a moment to show you quite possibly the most delicious Valentine's delivery I think I've ever had. It is from my favorite chocolate brand of all time, Ladderac. Now, if you guys don't know about Ladderac, they are the finest, most luxurious, and quite frankly, the most delicious Swiss chocolate brand. And it is actually my mother's favorite chocolate brand, and that is how I know about it. She always hides it in the fridge, and she certainly did when I was growing up. It was always like behind all the jars at the back. And I got to know where her secret hiding places were, and then I'd sneak in and go and steal it. And so the fact that they have sent me my very own Valentine's bag of goodies, I am obsessed. Like, quite frankly, if Ladderac is sending me chocolate, I'm like, do you know what? I can retire. I can hang my pity up. I am genuinely like shaking. So let's take a look at it. And then you'll be able to understand why I'm that obsessed with it. So these are one of my favorite things that Ladderag does. This is what they call their fish shoggy sticks. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong. Um, I don't speak Swiss German, so I'm really hoping I'm not slaughtering the name, but as you can see, they are little sticks of different types of chocolates. You've got milk chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate, all the different nuts and fruits throughout. And they are everything. Literally, these are the best of the best. And then down here, they've got the cutest little sweet treats. So actually, in fact, I'm going to save a couple of them for Mark. They have sent oh, the same, but this is their heart caramel and almond dark chocolate. This one here is so beautiful and goes with the theme of the evening. And this is the cherry and raspberry with white chocolate. Oh, and look at this. Is that not the most beautiful chocolate heart you have ever seen? And this is raspberry with white chocolate. They are designed to perfection. They are, of course, all handmade, and it is absolutely 
scrumptious. This is like my Achilles heel, ladies and gentlemen. I, I have such a sweet tooth. And this, well, quite frankly, it just absolutely blew me away. And this, ladies and gentlemen, if anybody dares touch it, I will be biting their fingers off. <gasps> this is my absolute favorite. It is the dark chocolate with the almonds and a slight little bit of caramel throughout. And I am just so grateful to Ladderack. Honestly, I don't think they know quite how much this means to me. And just look at the beautiful heart packaging. So this is in fact their Valentine's collection. The packaging and the gift wrapping is absolutely stunning. So if you do want to gift your loved ones this year and you want to gift the most delicious, divine and luxurious chocolate, then it's got to be Ladderack. And look at this. I mean, does your Valentine not want to receive this? Mm, honestly, just scrum diddy yoshis. So I'm gonna pop out a few little bits and pieces onto our sweet tier, and then I'm going to be adding the things that we have baked together this afternoon, and I think it's going to look incredible. I've also got to put out some savory goods. <laughs> I think that would be a good idea. So I'm going to be serving a few little bits and pieces of crudité, maybe a hummus or two, but quite frankly, it's all about the sweet treats tonight. We're also going to be serving a parmigiana and fresh salad. Lots of pink champagne, pink gin and tonic, maybe some pink sangria, and all of the pinks you could possibly imagine. But I'm absolutely over the moon with my Ladderack delivery. And Ladderack, I just cannot thank you enough. Thank you so, so much. And guys, like I said, if you like chocolate, it is the very best. Trust me, you will thank me later. Or <laughs> you'll be telling me off because you've got a Ladderack addiction, just like I do. <laughs> So I'm going to actually just pop that back in the bag and I'm gonna pop these for you here just because I think they look absolutely beautiful. Oh, and it is all coming together. If it isn't finished now, it is not going to get done. And it has definitely been a bit of a passion project, I must admit. But if there isn't passion, then there isn't love. And I can genuinely say, I am head over heels in love with my Valentine's decoration celebration. It is absolutely breathtaking and I cannot wait to see the girls' reaction. So they are going to be arriving in the next five minutes, so I thought I would give you the final tour of my Galentine's celebration tablescape. All of the crudités, all the dips, the flowers, the drinks, the champagne, just about everything that we have done together. So let's take a final look. So here we have the champagne bucket, we've got pink champagne, we've got white champagne, we've got the dry gin, and I've also got some gorgeous rose lemonade from Fentiman's. I've got the glasses here, the candle is burning, and I cannot even begin to tell you what it smells like in here. One, the freshly baked cookies, and two, the rhubarb and rose candle. <gasps> It is a recipe of absolute heaven. So whilst we're on the treat tower, we've got the freshly baked cookies. We've got those gorgeous dark chocolate dip strawberries with the rose flaked on the top. We've got fresh strawberries on the top and the two beautiful Ladderack teddy bears. Then we've got the florals of absolute dreams. I don't think I've ever seen so many pale pink roses in my entire life. Then we've got the gorgeous little heart-shaped pastries there with the strawberry jam. And then this is actually meant to be a heart. So I've done the cherries around one side and the strawberries and raspberries around the other. And when the time is right after dinner, I'm gonna pop a little candle underneath. And this is in fact actually going to be chocolate fondue. So it's going to be so interactive and just so gorgeous. Now amongst all of the sweet treats, I did think it was rather important to have a few little vegetables <laughs> to start things off. So a little bit of crudité. I am actually going to very, very quickly pop some hummus in here. So that is going to be some lovely crudité and dip. And so I just cannot wait for the girls to see it. I think hopefully they are going to be as blown away as I am. And then this. <laughs> I truly hope you are gasping as much as I am. 
it is absolute heaven. The pale pink Grand Prix roses are in full bloom. A few of them have sadly gone over, so I have had to place a few new ones throughout the day. But what a lovely way to reuse the flowers from the photo shoot. And I cannot thank Flower Art enough for just being so generous and sending just the most magnificent roses I have ever seen. Then we've got all of the gorgeous little bud vases. These came from Covent Garden Flower Market. Got the gorgeous dusky pink ribbons that I tied and beautiful bows from Amazon. Just to talk you through the table settings, we've got the gorgeous white placemats, the Edition 94 bamboo with that slight hint of pink on the top, the French linen napkins, and then those gorgeous dusky pink almost like shaggy edged ribbons that are tied in beautiful bows. These are from Villa Roy and Bosch and I will leave them linked down below along with the other glassware. It just looks absolutely stunning. And I'm so happy that I was also able to introduce a little bit of the family silver in here. So not only have we repurposed all of the flowers, we've also repurposed all the vases. The only thing I've bought for this tablescape are actually the pale pink ribbons, of which I will use every single one of them again. It looks absolutely stunning. And then we've got this gorgeous pop of pink. I just love the pale pink roses against the natural stone, the gorgeous wood, and I just think it pops. Then we've got those beautiful blush pink candlesticks. I don't know whether it's like a Galentine's, a Valentine's crossed with a baby shower. <laughs> I definitely think the baby would be a girl, don't you think? Oh, but goodness gracious me, I cannot wait to see the girl's reaction. So it's time to pop a cork or two, get some gorgeous love songs on and celebrate Galentine's with my bestie. Well, the dogs have gone absolutely berserk. So someone is definitely here. Hello. with a red oh, fur coat. Oh my god, I love it. Look at you, mom. Pink white. champagne, oh, galander, oh, galander. I can't, I actually can't. Oh, baby shouldn't have. No, this no. Is, right, come down here. I, I need the reaction. <laughs> I told you I was going a bit silly. Oh my goodness. Darling, this is Oh my gosh, look at this. I can't get my little Galentine's card. I know. I don't think I ever want to see a pale pink rose in my life. And look at this, Angel. Thank you so much for that. Oh my God, get it on there. Pink, pink, pink. Oh, the absolute dream. Well, I've had to put a few little savory bits here, but most of all, it's going to be sweet treats. Look at this, darling. Look at her stripping off. Right, let's get you a glass of pink champagne and let the celebrations begin. I got more I can give So much more I can give Cause you pour and pour 